In previous videos, we made a detailed analysis of the aftermarket situation of iPhone 10 series screen, including the original screen, flexible screen, hard screen, DFD screen and various quality screens. In fact, from the beginning of the year, the price of the X series screen has been plummeted and the market price fluctuation is particularly large. I don't know if you can feel it. Maybe the terminal maintenance stores can't feel much about the price fluctuation. However, for the upstream industrial chain, from the end of last year, especially in recent months, the market price of X series screen has been plummeted which almost out of control. How will the price of X series develop in the future? In this video, we will focus on the upstream factory and screen price and show you the latest market trends of X series as well as the future market forecast and price trend in order to understand the screen market of X series first of all we should know about the DFT screen PFD screen accounts for the largest proportion of shipments in the whole X series screen the DFT screen price in November of last year in upstream factory was about 2 Chinese yuans in domestic brands was about 200 Chinese yuans in terminal maintenance store was about 200 Chinese yuans. It was at this note in November that the TFD screen price showed a downward trend, but not obvious. Since the beginning of this year, TFD prices have dropped exaggeratedly. Why? First of all, the screen price and sales volume of X series were rising steadily during last year. For the recent two years, the upstream factory who opened mold to make X series screens made stonking profits. During the peak time, 6.1 inch screen made profit of more than 100 ons each. This positive signal of market have prompted upstream factories to make some wrong judgments. Many upstream factories choose to expand the quantity and cycle of pickup. When signing the pickup agreement with the original factory, once the pickup agreement is signed, the upstream factories must purchase that quantity each month. For example, upstream factory sign one year pickup agreement within a lux of 200k pieces per month, which is a quite large pickup quantity. If you can't pick up 200k pieces every month, it is a breach of contract. In case of breach of contract, Inalux can sell the LCD module you opened as a public model to any other similar factory, and anyone can produce with this mold. That means, the exclusive advantage of your product, and the mold opening fee you spent will be lost. Therefore, the upstream factories, that have signed pickup agreement, are under great pressure to purchase and ship. In terms of market situations, before November last year, the upstream factories have relatively large profits. The larger the shipments and the more they earned. However, after the year, due to the foreign market was not good. Sluggish consumer demand in the foreign trade market, plus the impact of the epidemic in China, sluggish demand and export, resulting the factories who plan to pick up. LCD module had a large backlog of inventory. The upstream factories are eager to realize, begin to deal with the inventories greatly, resulting in the decline of screen prices. Secondly, the good market performance attracted more funds in succession. So everyone began to open mold to make screen. Some people who used to make Android screens threw themselves into making iPhone screens. There are also midstream and downstream factories that used to make cover plate or backlight also joined in making screens. So, since the second half of last year, many LCD module factories have been put into the market for the iPhone 10 series screen. Last year, the LCD module screens produced by only all Inalux, Sharp, Ivo, Tianma. Since the beginning of this year, HKC, Mantix, Inalux 2, Handstars, and Truly Opto have joined successively. The LCD module screens produced by these factories there were more than a dozen LCD module screen of the same size producing at the same time during the peak period. These LCD module underproducing will further dilute and divide the market in the future. The imbalance between supply and demand of market will lead to a downward trend in price of the market in the future. People who have large amount of LCD module in stock and people who are producing LCD module in order to clear the inventory quickly and obtain more customers have started a price war. The panic of the falling price in the future has further contributed to this price reduction that has lasted for several months. Therefore, this year's DFD screen is a typical oversupply market, and the price competition seems to be intensifying. Up to now, 
the price of LCD module produced by HKC has directly fallen below 100 Chinese yuans. The current market situation has made many tycoons rather to pay liquidated damages than making LCD module. Because upstream factories are concerned, they may lose money as long as they start producing. The upstream factories that are producing from the original daily capacity till now have also started to converge. The upstream factories are generally conservative and in a wait and see state. For TFT screens, this year's price involution is far from over. According to Chinotech's prediction, the price of X series DFD screens may still be some room to fall. Having finished the X series DFD screen, how about the OLED screen market this year? OLED screen market is quite different from TFD screen. For this year, the price of OLED screen is very strong. If you see a very cheap flexible screen in the live stream, this kind of screens are basically unorthodox. They are either with slight defects or the refurbished screen from the after sales maintenance. These are not the regular goods. This kind of OLED screen is not within the scope of our description. Here we are talking about the new OLED products through the production line from formal channels. So what makes the OLED screen prices are relatively strong? Due to the limited production capacity of OLED module of the upstream factories, the quantity that's supplied to the aftermarket is reduced and the supply is less than the demand, resulting in the price remains strong. In recent years, with the popularization and development of OLED screens, many low-end phones and cheap phones have begun to use OLED screens. However, there are few OLED panels manufacturer in China, such as BOE, DCL, K&D in the first tier, Tianma, Edu in the second tier, and Truly Opto in the third tier. Among these OLED panel manufacturers, the first and second tiers, whose OLED module production lines are almost occupied by major mobile phone brands, as well as large enterprises such as car panels, have no spare capacity to undertake orders in the aftermarket. The third tier of Truly Opto is mainly supply for the aftermarket, but its OLED module production capacity is limited. As a result, the delivery cycle of these factories in the aftermarket becomes longer, resulting in a decrease in the number of OLED module supplied to the aftermarket, and a slight increase in the cost of picking up. This is why OLED screen prices are relatively strong. It is worth mentioning that the mold opening fee and pre pickup fee of OLED module are much larger than that of DFD screen. So the entry threshold of the industry is higher. Therefore, in the aftermarket, except for the original OLED manufacturers, there is no new capital and OLED module put into the market. Therefore, the price of OLED screen even rises slightly. Under this market situation, the market pattern of OLED screens will not change much this year. You can purchase trustingly, especially flexible screens, because flexible screen production capacity is more scarce. If you see a very cheap flexible screen in the live stream, you can consider purchasing it on demand. But it is not recommended to stock it. Because even the BC specification goods from the regular production line cannot have such a price. As the saying goes, you get what you pay for. Goods that is more than 20% lower than the normal market price. We can basically judge it as the supply store refurbished goods from small workshops. This kind of screen has many after sales problems. So stocking up is not a wise choice. At present, OLED screens on the market are generally in this situation. Seeing this, we believe that you have a more comprehensive understanding of the market of X-series screens. Generally speaking, the screen price of X-series this year shows a trend of polarization. Chinotech predicts that DFD screens will still have some room for decline in the future, while OLED screens will maintain a steady trend through the year. From the perspective of stocking OLED screens, you can seize the opportunity and purchase boldly X-series screens as an after-sales screen of large market shipment volume in recent years. We will continuously share the latest market situation with you from time to time.